Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be doing a mermaid nail set. The products I'll be using are from Liberty Bugs. In my last video I did show their polishes. I got to pick out a few polishes to review. I picked out two collections and a single polish. This collection that I have here is the Pearly Moonstone collection and the next one I'm going to be showing is the Reflective Diamonds collection. I decided to split the videos because I didn't want a super long video but the second half of this video will be the nail set. If you haven't seen the swatches I'll put it somewhere on the screen so you can watch that first if you want to but let me get into this nail set. So I applied my nail tips off camera. To do this I use bubblegum gel. I have a peel off base coat on my natural nail and then I just apply the tips using bubblegum gel. I do it all the time so I figured I'd just cut that part out. But for the nail design I'm going to be using colours from both collections. So I have this colour here from the Pearly Moonstone and this colour here from the Reflective Glitter Collection. I'm not quite sure what I want to do. I was looking up mermaid nails yesterday trying to get some ideas. But I feel like sometimes when I'm looking for ideas, too many things kind of jump out at me and I'm like, okay, now I'm back to square one and I'm stuck. So I think I'm just going to freestyle this. I am praying that it turns out nice though. So I applied two coats of that LA041 which is the pearly moonstone colour. I think I'm going to go in with some of the glitter and I'm going to put it on my thumb. And then I'm going to try and figure out what type of designs I want to do. I'm thinking of doing like a, a hand drawn mermaid tail. I also kind of want to do that clam design but I've actually most commonly seen that on stiletto or almond shape because you can kind of form the clam shape using the end of the nail tip if that makes any sense but i'm going to paint this finger here with the glitter and then i'll be back to show the next step So I'm going to attempt to draw like a mermaid's body with the tail. If not, we're going to have to go back to the drawing board. Whilst I'm doing this, I'm going to try and like talk. I can't talk and do nail art at the same time. I don't know what it is, but I try and it just doesn't work out very well. But whilst I'm doing this, I have the little mermaid in mind. I still haven't seen that movie like... I don't know how I haven't seen it yet. I do want to watch it, but I just, I didn't rush to go to the movies when it came out. One thing I actually did really want was, I don't know if you guys had seen it, but they had these glow-in-the-dark Little Mermaid popcorn buckets, and they were sold out everywhere. And that's pretty much what would have got me to go, but it was sold out at my local movie theater so i was just like okay i'm just gonna stay at home and you could also order them on the amc website but it was sold out and if they would have had that at mine that is why i would have went to go and see the movie but i do actually want to watch it because i've heard it's really good i just i guess i'm being lazy with it there's so many things that i do actually want to watch i want to watch the new insidious movie but <laughs> i have like mixed emotions about that movie that movie when the first one came out it literally scarred me it was so scary to me and i had nightmares for like two weeks <laughs> i kid you not i slept with my bedroom light on for like two weeks because that's how scary it was to me i'm a fan of scary movies and stuff but that one oh my goodness it got me so bad i think i've actually spoken about this in one of my past videos but yeah, no, that movie is scary as hell. And the newest one, I'm like, 
I'm on the fence. I'm trying to watch it, but at the same time, I'm not. The people that make the Conjuring movies and the Insidious movies, I don't know how they do it, but they do their movies so well and it's super frightening. But what is everyone, you know, planning to watch or what have you watched recently? So I don't know if this looks very mermaid tail like but down here is supposed to be the body and then that's the tail. I'm actually going to redo this but I'm going to redo it off camera just so I can make it look a little bit more obvious as to what it is. So I redrew it so that the tail can be a little bit bigger. So her body's down here and her tail's up here. I'm going to fill it in with some of this glitter. And then when I'm done doing that, I'm going to go in with the white. When I'm done with that, I'm going to go in with the white so I can draw, you know, some of the detail onto the tail. So I only included the footage of me painting on the details onto the tail. Once it came to the fish scales on the body, I did have to do that off camera because it was so hard to do it on camera and get it perfect. I'm basically going to draw some lines going towards my cuticle area. So I'm going to apply one of these pearls to this area of the clam because I kind of messed it up a little bit so it should hide it. I'm going to show how I got this ombre glitter effect. I'm going to do it on my thumb. So I pretty much just painted about halfway. And then I went in with a liner brush and I just kind of dragged some of that glitter down.
but this is the finished result let me know what you guys think i'm not really a fan of the clam that i drew i was kind of messing around doing different designs and it just wasn't turning out very well and that's kind of what i settled on but i love these polishes so much let me know what you guys think of this set again if you want any of these polishes i have a discount code it is phyllis i'll have everything in the description box this is kind of what i did for the thumb let me know which one is your favorite now let me know what you think and if you guys enjoy this video like comment and subscribe and see you in the next one